A serial peeping Tom prowling Midtown Sacramento has women on a high alert there tonight. Terrified and angry, the women say that the crimes are getting bolder by the day. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in Midtown getting answers on what experts say could be Marissa his next move. Yeah, Sacramento police are putting investigators on this case, guys, but the women who live in this midtown Sacramento neighborhood are doing a lot of this detective work on their own. And today we spoke with a forensic psychologist who tells us this terrorizing behavior could turn tragic. Terrified, like I'm not safe in my own home. The crimes range from creepy to criminal. He was peeking in maybe through a half inch gap. Cameras catching the same man in the shadow of night, peeping into bathroom windows, ringing doorbells, then leaving behind women's underwear or sexually explicit notes. At one point, breaking into one victim's home. I screamed. He had removed the screen off my window. And I was yelling at him, go away, go away. At least six women sharing their stories of sheer terror with police. The incidents now becoming more frequent. That's my greatest concern is what is he going to do next? We asked that question to Dr. Judy Ho, a forensic neuropsychologist, who says the longer criminals like this evade police, the more likely it is their crimes could turn violent. Not all peeping toms become serial killers, but many serial killers started out as peeping toms. Dr. Ho says often peeping toms get a sick pleasure from making their victims feel afraid. It's called voyeuristic disorder. The peeping tom type of behavior is almost like a training ground for people to keep testing those limits. For now, these women are staying vigilant, locking their doors and shutting the blinds. The unknown keeping them up at night. It's really just awful and scary to know that someone's continuously watching me. Scary, that's for sure. These reports, almost a dozen of them, date back as early to this past July. Sacramento police say, again, they are investigating these reports and now putting extra security out here in these neighborhoods, watching for anything.